Okay, so this is basically the nursery slash little toddler girl's room. Um, this is the entrance of the room. It's a very small room. And I got ideas from Pinterest, from YouTube. So I took a little bit of everything and it just incorporated it into my own style and into however I can fit it. <laughs> so this is the entrance. I'm going to buy a giraffe. I really want that big giraffe. I don't know where that's going to be. I don't know if it's, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I want the giraffe. I was thinking about putting it there, but it's going to cover the nook. But uh, here's the reading nook for Sophia. And this is her little private space to read and to have her little quiet time. And I bought all this in Ikea, the little pillows, the teddy bear she had, but the cover on the bottom and the container there for the books I had. And I got it from Ikea as well. So I basically have another little basket of books and I just transfer them as I go throughout the week when she reads them or when she wants something new, I just, you know, she, she's two, so her attention span is not <laughs> as high, but um, basically, I got the uh, mosquito netting canopy at Ikea as well. I think it was like $20. Um, here's the bed that I got from Ikea. It's so pretty, I love it. It actually, um, grows with your child and right now we have it in the smallest size possible and we got the mattress there as well and the mattress also has the two end caps for when your child grows you can just extend it however big you want it or however you want it from your free room um, and then the covers I got at Ikea as well they're really nice it's a cover and then it's a duvet um, to put inside and that gray pillow I had and it came with that pillowcase and then I got the sheet from the sheets from Ikea as well and those curtains I had so I just got the pole and from Ikea very cheap very inexpensive and this uh, bookshelf as well from Ikea basically everything from Ikea because they're designed for smaller spaces and I love it the way everything turned out so this is actually like Sophia's space and this is going to be the baby boy space and I'm going to incorporate also some like turquoise into the color as well. So some probably some artwork um, here I'm going to have the letter S for Sophia and here probably would be J but we don't know yet <laughs> for the boy um, and then here on the wall I'm going to have like in between the changer and the crib I'm going to have like some some artwork and um here i don't think i'm gonna have anything i'm just gonna do that and that's it because it's such a small room and i got the lamp at ikea as well and the plant and these little wicker baskets are so cute and they're very sturdy very strong so i put like all her books in here um and i'm gonna just transfer them like i said as i go because she it's too heavy for her to take out i mean she'll try but here, I don't have anything yet. I just have some frames with these sonograms and stuff. But I figured that out. It's just a little lamp that I got at Ross. And here's the crib. The skirt I got at Pottery Barn for Sophia, actually. I just left it, you know, I was like, is it too feminine or not? But it's actually cute. It's okay. He's a baby boy. Later when he grows up, make it really masculine and sporty. But for right now, it's going to stay like this. I got this blanket at Ikea. Um, it was on sale. It's so cute. Um, basically, I bought it just for now just to decorate the room until I get my set from the baby shower that I put in my registry. And I got the owl and the rabbit at Ikea, the bears I had. But the owl and the rabbit actually made it so cute. <laughs> and this little giraffe blanket I got at Ross. So anything like giraffe or um, elephant, monkeys, owls, stuff like that. And and with these colors, which is like gray, brown, like a top color, uh, white, yellow, turquoise. Those are pretty much the colors that I'm using. Um, so yeah. So this is the changer. And I just put the 
camera there for now until the baby's born. This that's for so I can see Sophia. But we're gonna figure out to see what we're gonna do. If we're gonna get the Wi-Fi cam or not. Um, but uh, this is the changer. I still put Sophia on there just for my back, me being pregnant and stuff. <clears throat> but uh, this is her basket. This is her cream and her her wipes and her clippers and stuff like that. Um, but that's it. That's all she has because she's already big. Um, I have her hair stuff in my other room to do her hair. And then this is the boys. This is all I have so far. This is just some hats and some bibs that I have and some cute little Nike <laughs> camouflage that I have for him and socks. Obviously, I think when I get some more stuff, I'll incorporate into these baskets down here. They're empty right now, but that's why I have them empty so that whenever I, I do get things from my registry, I can just go ahead and fill them in. And this is the basket for for me when I take it to the room or downstairs or breastfeeding, stuff like that. Um, for the breastfeeding stuff and the baby stuff. Uh, I used it for Sophia. This actually was a set. These wicker baskets, they were a set. I have more in the closet. Uh, with pink, a pink liner on them, and I took them off for the baby. I just put so that nothing will latch onto the wicker. I just put like a sheet on the bottom, that way I can reuse them and I don't have to buy any other ones. And I'm not gonna make any liners. I mean, it just, just takes so much time, and I'm just not gonna do that. It looks cute that way. Um, and then I got these little cute things from IKEA as well to match the wicker and the yellowish kind of thing, and basically. These have like cotton balls, <laughs> but I put them like in this little thing. So you just open it and then you just get the cotton. And then you just squish it back in there and close it. And then this, let's see, it doesn't come off. I can't do it with one hand. Hold on. So this is for the q-tips and I had these from like the clothes that I got for the baby I just I always keep them I think it's so cute and that way they stay intact and this is the q-tips in there that was a cute idea so that's for the q-tips and this is like five dollars I think this whole set <laughs> and this is empty this is just for later for when I get other stuff for the baby. I'm gonna figure out what um, what to put in there. And then this diaper genie I had for Sophia. This I had for Sophia as well to put all the diapers in it. She's potty trained, so these has these have been in there just for the night uh, diapers. So she has to wear them at night. And then this is just a little outfit that my mom gave me. It's very cute. Some shoes. And I got this little. Uh, whatever I got it at Ikea and it's so cute because it has an owl and it looks like it's purple but it's really not like it's like grayish sort of so from far away it doesn't look feminine it looks cute um, and this is the closet I have a double closet so this is what I have so far which is not done this filing cabinet needs to go downstairs in the garage, but it's really heavy, so I'm waiting for my husband to take it downstairs, but for right now it's working because I'm having these other baskets there, and I have Sophia's socks in here, and her color socks, and her little non-slip socks, skitters, and the white socks there, and I have her, like, dress, underneath dress, uh, panties, and then I have her washcloths here, her panties here, and her her uh, her bathing suits there. And then these are the babies that I got at IKEA as well. And so far, I just have like little sets that I got. And this is for the baby too. Little outfits. I just put little teddy bears in there. <laughs> So that's all I got so far for the baby. 
This is another basket. This is Sophia's. This is what um, I put her underneath her sheet. So just in case she has an accident or goes through her diaper, I just um, I put this underneath her sheet and they're disposable so it's pretty cool. Um, they're not specifically for babies, it's just for, they sell them at Publix anywhere, you just buy them and they're inexpensive and I think they're pretty cool, they work. So uh, my husband actually thought of that idea so I thought it was pretty cool. And this are just some wipes and some pull ups that I don't use, never used. And then these are some space savers that I have to use for some of those blankets over there that I have from Sophia. I don't really use them much anymore, so I'm going to put some blankets in the space saver. And then that's the babies right there. And that's the Bumbo seat, which I'm probably going to resell in a consignment shop just because uh, it was recalled and now they have ones that have uh, seat belts and stuff. So, And I couldn't find the seat covers for the bumbo so it was pretty hard to find that so I'm probably just gonna uh, order one through the registry and see if I get it if not I will try to figure it out how to use it reuse it again I saw one cover but I didn't really like it but if worst case scenario I'll keep it until the register until the baby shower if I don't get one then I will reuse the cover or use the cover and use that one um, just for a little bit I have some of my like breastfeeding covers up there as well and the baby, uh, the uh, wipey warmer up there. And then here I have her, Sophia's little uh, um, laundry basket. And this is going to be for the baby here. This is for storage up there. Which I'm probably, I don't know. Let's go for storage of Sophia's little memory box. So that's the only thing that he has hung up. I mean, if I had a girl, I probably would have more newborn girly clothes right now, but boys, you just really just fold cute little truck stuff. Um, but uh, this is Sophia's clothes. And, you know, it, it really does work the system for me. I had her clothes in my other daughter's room, but she shared the room with my older daughter. And it she shared a, a dresser with her and it worked as well, but this actually works a lot better. And then this is right over here is for her her shoes. I don't think you can see it, but it's for her shoes. So all of that. It's like a shoe little rack. Have the baby car seat down there until I have it wrapped up in there. Until I use it, take it out, have more space to put some storage stuff down there. And this is all of Sophia's dresses. That I have so everything pretty much fit this tiny little room um, and then the last thing that I have here is Sophia's little towel hanger um, I have the babies there but since her towel is so big like I don't want to like have it exposed so much just because uh, it just makes the room look smaller so I have it behind the door and I think it works well and then that's it, you just open the door and it covers it like that. So that's that's it guys. I hope you guys like it. I hope this helps for other people to get some ideas because I decided to post it just because I got a lot of great ideas from seeing other people's stuff and organization and stuff like that on YouTube and on Pinterest. So I decided to post mine to see if it would help anybody else. Oh, and I'm going to replace that fan with a regular Ikea lamp. Very simple, very inexpensive, very cute, chic, modern. So uh, that's about it. It works. My daughter loves it. Hopefully the baby will too. And I still need to get a little mobile. But uh, all right, see you guys later. Bye.